Hello and welcome to the Gallatin County Video News. I'm Jennifer Cervellis. Bob Weldon is wanting to set up a mobile home park off of Highway 35 near the townhome apartments. In order for this to take place, there will have to be a zoning change. A public meeting will be held at the Mary Ellen Bogardus Building in Warsaw, November 9th at 6.30 p.m. We will be at that meeting with our cameras and will post it here on gcvideonews.com. If you were at the Gallatin County High School football game last night, you probably noticed that some of the football players were wearing pink. Yeah, do you know why the, they're wearing pink? Uh, breast cancer awareness, I believe. Is it for their like, own family members and stuff? That I do not know. To find out, we spoke to Brenda Hawkins of Warsaw, and she had this to say. My grandson, Jake Giles, is a senior at Gallatin County High School. At the football game last night, they had senior night. His mother, Sonia Giles, is a cancer survivor and he wanted to do something special for her mom and she just got out of the hospital a few weeks ago. So Jake wrapped his shoes, his football cleats, in pink Coban to surprise his mom. I think it was a surprise for everybody. When the team learned this, there was a lot of the boys that had on pink and a lot of the cheerleaders had on pink ribbons. So I'm very proud of my grandson for being that considerate of his mom and this being Breast Cancer Month. While interviewing Brenda Hawkins to do this story, John realized the history of the very building he was standing in. You know, I lived in Gallatin County most of my life, and I have never once been inside this building until today. There's all kinds of fascinating things in there, and if you live in the county, you have to stop by and see it. This was a Warsaw Women's Club. The city purchased it about a year ago, and we've turned it into a welcome center, hoping that we get a lot of visitors into Gallatin County. As you can see, it's the original floor of the black and white tile. The beautiful sideboard came from Warsaw Furniture Factory and was donated by Jim Bogardus, has been in the building for years. See the original lighting and up in the ceilings. A lot of weddings were held in this building years ago. We have an area now that's uh, a dining room that if people would like to rent this building, they could to have showers, wedding showers, birthday parties, whatever they'd like to have. I actually had a wedding shower in here. How much does it cost to rent it? $100 to rent the building. There's two doors that close here, and the story is that the ladies and the gentlemen would have dinner. The ladies would stay in here, and this was originally a sitting room, and the men would close the doors, and then they could go in this part, and they could have their cigars, their drinks, whatever the men would do, but it was, it was a closed off section so the men could have their privacy and the women could have their privacy. This hallway ran directly by and there's a door here that opens up and the reason for that was that if you opened the front door and the back door there was a draft that came through that kept the building cool. It's just an interesting building to come through because not too many architecture like this is still around. You'll see photographs of the chambers Sally Chambers, the Bannisters, Louise Chambers, the photographs are all in here, who was the original owners of the house. And we also have a beautiful quilt for sale for $50 if someone would like to have an unusual Christmas present. So all this historic homes in Gallatin County. If you would like to see the full video, click the link in the description. That's our news for this Saturday, October 24, 2009, and if you have a news idea, you can call us at 859-904-9112 or email us at news at gcvideonews.com. I'm Jennifer Cervellis. Thanks for watching.